Imagine every time you were thirsty and wanted a drink of water, you had to walk for three hours. And it wasn't clean, cool water from a bubbler, but a dirty river full of crocodiles. When crocodiles are on your list of things to worry about, you know something needs to be done. Hello, and welcome to Project Compassion 100% News, where we investigate issues being faced by millions of people around the world, and what Caritas Australia, the Catholic Church's international agency for aid and development in Australia, are doing to help. Here's Adelaide with the story. What was the first thing you did when you woke up this morning? Chances are, you used water. Now, imagine life without water. Here in Australia, we often take clean water for granted. But unfortunately, that's not the case for everyone. Did you know that four in 10 people experience water scarcity, which means that they can't access clean or safe water? One of these people was Tanda Weo from Zimbabwe, who used to fetch and carry five liters of water three kilometers each day. Imagine that. Five liters of water weighs five kilograms. Let's find out how hard that is to carry. When I carried the water, my arms felt stiff and tired and I didn't want to carry any more. I just wanted to flop them down. It was very heavy and it made me feel very sort of empathetic for the girl who has to do that every day. I'm very glad that I didn't have to carry all that water every day for like two hours just to have a drink. It was a bit exhausting and it was hard to carry them and you got very sore arms after a while. Uh, it was really heavy and um, when I put it on my head, my head started to hurt. Well, if I had to go to school each day after carrying water, I probably would fall asleep in class. Yes, I think we're very lucky at school and at home because we get water from our taps and our bubblers without having to walk long distances and it's clean and fresh. Now, thanks to the work of her community and the support of Caritas, a clean water tap has been installed in her village. Project Compassion visited Zimbabwe to meet her and to find out how her life has changed. My name is Tanda Wayo. I live in Suna Hills and I'm 12 years old. I would like to be a nurse because I like helping sick people. Time lost to illness and fetching water each day meant Tanda Wayo couldn't spend enough time at school. She used to carry a five litre bottle up a steep and rocky hill from the Gwai River. I never liked going down to Gwai River, but I had no choice because we had no other source of water. The water was very dirty and at times we would fall sick. Whenever I got sick, I would miss lessons. That really affected her schooling. Tanzawaya's community decided that the river was a strength and planned a solar-powered village tap. We use solar power to pump the water to the tap because we don't have electricity, but we have lots of sunshine. With the support of the community and Caritas, their dream was realised. I can use water for so many things. The benefits of access to clean, safe water have rippled through Tandawaya's life. Now she can go to school, doesn't get sick from dirty water, can bathe every day and has more time to play with her friends. I like going to school because that's the only way that I can become a nurse. Tanda Wales' performance in school has improved tremendously. She has excelled and come first in a class. Project Compassion is your opportunity to contribute and make a difference. Tanda Wales' story demonstrates how your generous donations can create lasting change. I'm very, very proud of my granddaughter. I feel that Tanda Weo is going to become a nurse like she's dreaming of. 
We want to thank the people of Australia for their generosity and for what they have done for our community. Thank you very much, Characters Australia. Tandawea was fortunate. Almost a billion people still wake up each morning with no access to clean water. This means millions of families around the world can't drink, cook or bathe, things we take for granted in Australia. That's it for 100% News, but remember, lives change when we all give 100%, so please give generously to Project Compassion.